This little fly is a, a variation of cruncher and it's one that's done really well for me through the summer months. Uh, I think it's because of that flash of red. And because of that flash of red and gold, I call this one the Royal Cruncher, uh, just like the Royal Wolf. It's got the same colour combinations, but a really good fly to fish with. That gold really catches the sun on bright days. Perfect for over the weed beds, perfect for open water. And not a difficult fly to tie. Let's go ahead and tie it. Let's start off with a, a wet fly size 10 in the vise there. Just get my bits ready. And I'm missing, there you go, got it right. So we start off <coughs> with black thread and we're coming down the, the hook shank and you can tie this long, you can tie it short. It looks better as a short fly, so I stop at the point. You can tie it a little bit further back, but I stop at the point for this one. And I've got here, it's a kind of, it's a cheapy green wells, basically. Um, and I've got a cock and I've got a hen. I'm going to use hen for the top and I'm going to use cock for the bottom. So I've got a... Uh, I can just grab it cock fibre here. That's got to be my tail. I'm just going to take some fibres off, pinch them all together to create my tail. Do not want a long tail, but I want to make sure the fibres are length of the body. Keep it everything even. Key to most flies is proportions. So there you go, nice small tail. And with Scissors and cut this at an angle because we've got to tidy this up. Coming up, and then we'll tidy this up with nice close wraps, like so. Back down at the end, and I've got this two sided um, tinsel. Gold's what we want, so we tie it in. Now we've got silver on one side and gold on the other. You always tie it in silver side because we've got to go back in. So silver side facing you, you tie that in. So the gold side's facing onto the body. Now you have to watch this stuff because it's super slippy. So what I tend to do is get a little bit of varnish, just a spot. Which then doesn't go into that feather. rub that into the thread so it beds in and it'll, what it does is it just allows the, the foil tinsel to bed in so a nice overlap in terms that what do you call it make it catch the um varnish will make it catch it here at the hook so cut that at an angle again we're going to cut this so it beds everything down And back up over your thread. Let finish and tie off here. Just a couple of times. So for the royal colour, I've got glow bright number three. Be careful not to fray this when you're tying it on. Leave a little bit of space behind the eye. Right down on that gold there. So you want three layers, probably four layers here. Because if it's just one layer, the black will come through. You want to keep that bright red coloration. As you're coming down the taper, just tie it off. One, two, three. Tie that off there. Keep it under a lot of tension. Nip it with the scissors. So there's your body there, absolutely perfect. So now what you want is back to the, the hen hawk and we want a really small feather. And that's small, a lot of people tie uh, a crunch on the hackle, it's just too long. You don't want a long hackle, you want something small, it's a delicate fly. Let's see what that looks like against the hook. Is that right? 
take these fibers away. That's about right. So back in on my black thread. Working up onto the red floss, just a little bit. Put it there. Come in and tie that off. So in my little green mouse feather, catch it on my own side of the hook shank, and wind down. Give myself a little whip finish here, and then snip this. In on my hackle plage, I'm going to stroke these fibers back so it cloaks the red. So, turn, pull back, turn, pull them back, turn. That's two and a half. I reckon one more. <laughs> Try that again. One. I might do it a little bit quicker this time. I'm going to do it so slow. Two. Three. Stroke these fibers back and get one more in there. My hard cut pliers will grip. And then lock off. This should just come off now. And then with thread wraps. We pull these fibers back to cloak the fly, making sure all the fibers are back. Like so. You see them like that. You can actually push it even further back with controlled thread drives if you wish. I'm quite happy with that there. And then just in. Finish the head. And that's him. The Royal Cruncher. A really, really nice fly to fish with. Great when you're fishing the washing line. Great when you're straight line nymphing. Um, I like to have this little fly nearest to my floating line. So highest up in the water column when I'm fishing for that gold to catch the sunlight. A really good fly. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you try it. Um, I'm sure you'll have great success. If you enjoyed that and you want to see more fly time videos and fishing videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks very much, folks. Take care and bye-bye.